Okay, so instead of being outside on this wonderful weekend we have here, I have been tinkering with my Tesla coils and my secondaries, and I combined these two secondaries, just, you know, slopped them together to see what would happen. And actually, it turned out quite amazing, really. How about we see that with the lights off? Okay, so I got the lights off here, and let's turn it back on. Oh, yeah. That's a good two-inch spark. Okay, so, and then we take this and put it right here about, where's my screwdriver? Right here. All right, and if we turn this back on, I'll show you the power transfer of, okay, this ain't connected nothing, see? See? Woo! Anyway. Oh, no. Okay. Got that fixed. All right. Now, if we turn this on, it ain't sparking to the can. It's not sparking to the can. So, that's a good thing. All right. Now, watch this. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a show of how well a Tesla coil can transfer electricity to metal objects. Okay, now imagine if you were to build a bigger Tesla coil, say, whoops, say about 500, 600 watts or so, right? Okay, your house right now is using more power than, than 600 watts, I guarantee it. So, build a big Tesla coil like that, set it outside, okay? If you set that outside and put a metal cage-like thing around your house, and you were to connect wires to ground and that cage and build a converter that will transport it into your household electricity how cool would that be saving hundreds of dollars a month and you know, or year and you know still a cool effect in the long run huh think about it